Another first news follow up tonight. We first told you about police discovering the body of a 32 year old, Desiree Boss, about a week ago. She was found in the woods of Choctaw Avenue, southwest, with a gunshot wound to the head. Tonight, her family honored her memory with a vigil. First news reporter Desiree Gosselin spoke with her family about how they are coping with the loss. Friends and family of Desiree Alicia Boss gathered here to mourn her death and celebrate her life, trying to make sense of this horrific tragedy. Desiree! Family say that Desiree Boss was a firecracker, known for speaking her mind with a beautiful smile and a big heart. Every time she seen me, she was like, hey, Aunt Pat, what's going on? Hey, Aunt Pat, what you doing? Hey, Aunt Pat, I like your outfit. Won't hear those words again. We were actually holding out hope that we would find her, that she was just out messing around and she didn't want to be bothered with us. Desiree's family say that she was missing for almost a week before her body was discovered. My daughter had decomposed and so she wasn't very recognizable. She has a daughter, you know, a 12 year old daughter. How do I explain that to my granddaughter? How do I explain that? you know, the conditions that they found her in. Her mother cried as she explained her pain having to identify her daughter's body. I saw this side of her face. That was all I saw that I could physically touch. And I, I just keep seeing that image. Her family says they are haunted and angry, but most of all they want to see her killer in jail. I want to see them shackled. I want to see them go to the parole board because when they do, they're going to see this face. If you have any information pertaining to this crime, you're urged to call Warren Police. Reporting in Warren, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.